The Supreme Court decided very recently, the last day, that faithless electors in the Electoral College can be punished by the states from which they come. I didn't see that. All right, so yeah, for this... our listeners, for our listeners, a faithless elector is one who votes the opposite way of what the popular vote in well, the state was. Not necessarily the opposite way, just a different way. A different way, sure. Right, and, and we've got, um, not too long ago, they voted for a vice president, uh, Lloyd Benson, to one, one faith, faithless elector voted for Lloyd Benson to become president. In the last go-around, uh, the Trump-Clinton election, I think we had... On, on the order of 10 or so faithless electors, three of them voted for Colin Powell, right? Because there's nothing in place until right this second that a faithless elector might be punished. And now there is. It doesn't seem to say that they have to vote the way that they're charged, but it does say that after the fact they can be punished. And I'm going to have to read into this a little more because I suspect what really happens is they're going after that first problem the faith, faithless elector simply. Um, but interestingly, it was a nine to nothing Supreme Court decision. Oh, wow. That's right. impressive. So, so you've got wholesale agreement on the part of the Supreme Court justices, which doesn't happen that often, at least not in high profile cases. And with the election coming up, the Electoral College is again under the microscope and people are, are getting ready to be agitated about whatever it does. Well, all of a sudden, it seems they can't do as much as they once could. And you and I wrote a, an article during the last election sequence about the Electoral College. You and I actually, I think tongue in cheek, called on the Electoral College to elect somebody other than Donald right. Trump. Right. That you guys can do whatever you want. Now go do it. Um, and like I said, a bit tongue in cheek on our part. Nonetheless, that's never going to happen now. I'm really interested now to read what the Supreme Court had to say, because my understanding is the Electoral College was designed to to be at the presidential election level like uh, the, the House or the Senate is, uh, the level of laws, that you elect these people and they decide who's going to be president. Well, yeah, more or less, right? There's a lot more to it we can't really get into here. But one of the, the apparent features of the Electoral College is now off the table. And that's interesting. I'll throw a couple of stories in the, in the show notes and, and you can read up on it at your leisure. We'll certainly get back to this before the election happens.